Number 1. Nikko Japanese Restaurant. Tonight was my third trip to Nikko. The first time I decided on this restaurant it was because I was unfamiliar with the area and looking for decent sushi. I checked TripAdvisor reviews and the place seemed pretty decent. I can say that without a doubt this will be a regular spot for me from now on. I took my kids and my son said the teriyaki chicken was the best meal he had ever eaten. The rolls are absolutely fantastic, the Sunamono perfect. Number 2. 6 LA Palace Vietnamese Restaurant. If you would like to experience some authentic Vietnamese food, made with lots of love, come visit us. We take time and effort into preparing meals and ensuring that our guests are satisfied. Allergen notice by La Palace cannot guarantee that any of our products are free from allergens, including dairy, eggs, soy, tree nuts and other nuts, wheat, MSG, and others, as we use shared equipment to store, prepare, and serve them. Number 3. Ricky's Country Restaurant. ABC Abbotsford believes in using only the finest quality ingredients. We are committed to using local Abbotsford products. The Abbotsford ABC Country Restaurant began in 1982 and continues to be a place where families, friends and business people come to meet. The beautiful decor, friendly staff, great food and great service are all part of what makes ABC one of the most popular restaurants in all of Abbotsford. Number 4. Greek Islands Restaurant. Two twin brothers George and Gus Sahamis left Greece in 1975 and traveled to Canada to pursue their dreams when they were young men in their late teens. They brought with them a passion for quality and service that started out as selling souvlakis straight off the spit to the local community and tourists in their hometown of Sparta, Greece. This became the benchmark of their success as they opened the Greek Islands restaurants throughout the Fraser Valley 21 years later in 1996. Number 5. Greek Islands Restaurant 3. Two twin brothers George and Gus Sahamis left Greece in 1975 and traveled to Canada to pursue their dreams when they were young men in their late teens. They brought with them a passion for quality and service that started out as selling souvlakis straight off the spit to the local community and tourists in their hometown of Sparta, Greece. This became the benchmark of their success as they opened the Greek Islands restaurants throughout the Fraser Valley 21 years later in 1996. Number 6. Restaurant 62. My wife and I love coming to Restaurant 62 in Abbotsford. We usually go on a Monday or Tuesday when it is not too busy. It is the best fine dining restaurant in Abbotsford. On this occasion we were returning from Vancouver and had been in traffic for rush hour. We both had the specials that were offered on this particular evening. I had the snapper which was very tasty. A bottle of the Ned Sauvignon was a nice accompaniment. Number 7. And Mary's Cafe. We are a casual relaxed family diner. We have a 50 style decor with the delicious comfort foods to go with it. Come and relax and enjoy yourself with music from the past and a homemade old-fashioned milkshake. It won't be long and you will feel right at home. Number 8. Ocean Park. I have lived in Abbotsford and have had the pleasure of dining at Ocean Park over the years. I can only say one thing. This little hidden treasure gets get a 10 out of 10 every single visit. The food is excellent, the value is excellent, the service is excellent. I love going there and being treated in a friendly considerate manner every time. Number 9. Cactus Club Cafe. My husband, my sister and myself had a very pleasant lunch. My sister and myself thoroughly enjoyed the pesto chicken quesadillas. We also really enjoyed the late harvest daiquiri. I hope this is kept on the menu. Our server, Renee, was very friendly and efficient. Have been here a few times and will go back. Number 10. Brodeur's Bistro. Went after the Jeff Dunham show, and the four of us all ordered different meals. Smoked meat sandwich, the tortiere, cordon bleu, and linguine. 
They were all fantastic and the service was fast and friendly. Lots of food, but once we looked at the dessert menu, tried that as well. Smaller portions and all under $3. Again, for different selections and they were all great. Great value for your money. The restaurant is worth a trip to Abbotsford from anywhere in the Lower Mainland. Hope you like this video. For more videos, please subscribe to our channel.